Yo, let's get it, guys. Bad pair. All right. Drip tools. Hit the letter N or hit this little icon right here. If you click on drip tools, you'll see the new plugin. All right. First little icon here. This is actually a button, a menu button for you. This is your brand selector. So if you click on this, you'll see all the different artifact brands and all the different digital assets you can use that link to your Clonex. And if you click on any of these, this will switch the brand. When you switch the brand, these preview icons right here will change. This is your wearable selector menu. So very similar to the brand selector, but bigger, right? So if you click on this, this will show you all the wearables for this brand. Next, we'll go back to Clonex and we'll go through what each button does. We'll start kind of in the middle so you can see its features because you'll have to start here anyway. If I click on import drip, Clonex, I can import that model. So I imported the M rigged Clonex Air Force One, and now the male Clonex Air Force One shoe is available. All right. Now, if I hit equip, it will just equip it to my Clonex because it detected there's a Clonex in the scene. And if I hit the trash icon, and this will remove that drip from the scene. And if I hit the globe, well, the globe is going to open up OpenSea. I'll show you. So if you clicked on that button, you'll see here, it opens the OpenSea link with the filter to the corresponding drip that you had available. So this one is filtering this collection to the Genesis Clonex um, category. Yeah. All right, next, we'll talk a little bit more about the two import drip buttons and then some of the advanced settings. So import drip also has multi-select. So you don't have to click them one by one. If they're all in the same like uh, folder, you can just highlight all of them and hit import drip. And now all of the Air Force One shoes that I have in that folder are now imported into the scene. All right, cool. And this little search icon, this is a heuristic search. So if you don't know what that is, basically, instead of you having to go through into each folder to find all of the different GLBs, you just set a directory instead. So I'm going to choose this artifact directory that has all the drip in it. And then if I hit search, it'll search through all of these for all the different uh, GLB files that work with this plugin and import all of them all at once. But I'm going to do that in a second. We're not going to do that yet because I need to show you the advanced settings first. Okay. There's a, uh, you'll see right now. There's these little quality of life features right here, the bottom three. They're basically uh, filters for speeding up your workflow. So right now you can see we have pink reddish and this purple bluish uh, little HUD icons. Shout out to Kane for hooking those up. And these gray ones over here. So basically what these are is female, unavailable or not imported and um, male, right? So. Sometimes if you're working, this might be a little cluttery. So instead you can uncheck this show unavailable and then now you'll only see the ones you've imported or turn it back on and now you can see the grays again. Or you can hide female and male and you can do these in any combination that you want. So if I know I'm working on a male clone, I'll hide the female and now I only have the male uh, wearables being shown and maybe I don't want to see the grays. So then I'll only see the ones that I have, right? That's basically it. And auto unequip, I'll give you a better demo example of that in a second. We'll import all of our heuristic search drip real quick so you can see that function. All right, let's go to downloads and artifact. So all of these folders have folders in them or have the files in them and they're all separated. So I would have to go one by one with the regular import drip button like that and add them, right? But instead we can just choose artifact.com search and then it's like double checking this directory and hit search. And it's going to go through all of the folders and all of the folders in those folders infinitely to the endpoints and find all of the GLBs compatible with this plugin and import them and you're good. So if you have a messy kind of folder categorization system, uh, it doesn't matter. It'll search through it and find all the GLBs as long as they are compatible and import them. And then you're good, right? Okay. The last cool feature for your quality of life here is the auto unequip. So basically what this does is if you have something in a slot, it will remove it when you try to equip something else that should go in that slot. So if I go and click on this shoe, for example, and equip it, you can see here and now it's on the clone. But if say, hey, I changed my mind. I want to go with, I'm going to actually use the filters. Let's hide the female real quick. And I want humans instead. I just switch to humans. So it removed the clone X shoes from the scene for us so we don't have to go back and delete it 
instead it just auto swaps to the new one. All right, but I am gonna manually get rid of my pants real quick. And, oh, I don't have clothes on. I don't have a body on. Bad example, but it's fine. Let's get, also get rid of the shirt and that. And let's put some clothes on this guy. All right, let's go long sleeve and let's put some pants on and then put some socks on. Cool, so you can see here, you can quickly swap out um, all the different wearables you want. So if you wanna go alien or, oh, let's uh, go alien, equip. Maybe you want the alien shoes and go puffer. And you can see here, it swapped out all the different um, human stuff that we don't need, right? So that's, it's a huge speed up of your workflow to quickly get you into the right direction of what you're trying to do without having to go back, right? So that's the auto unequip feature. And that's basically it, right? So it's just a quick fun tool to help you quickly remove and equip all the different drip from artifact.com that we just released last month. All right, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll catch you later.